the, what is it now, the morning after. Um, for the decision to figure out whether we're going to the south coast or whether we're going to Port Davy. The weather this morning, it's got a bit of southwesterly in it, so I don't know whether it's funneling around that point here or not, but um, yeah, a little, a little choppy. Um, wind's here early, it wasn't meant to be here till like 8, 9 o'clock this morning. I think internally I'm feeling we should probably go south coast. I just don't want to get caught out here, get shit numbers, can't really leave. Um, with the south coast, I'm, I can still fish along there. and There's opportunity for, for day fish as well. I wouldn't mind a few brindles just to sell to a few restaurants and things, but um, yes, at the moment we'll get into them, get them up. And either way, I've got to steam south. If we pull into Port Davy, we pull into Port Davy. If we don't, we don't. We'll see what happens. Um, another mate of mine's going south coast today, so we'll see what, what else he thinks. Anyway, we'll get into it and have some fun, I guess. Hopefully there's a hundred, right? More than 100, I'd be bloody happy because we only ended up with like 98 or something yesterday. So 104 would be nice, just to make sure we get makes up for yesterday. We get, you know, because if you can do 20 days at sea, you get 100 a day, 2,000 fish. You're doing all right, I think. I don't know. I guess maybe <laughs> it sounds shit, but I think that's just this time of year. It's either that or it's me. I don't know. That's a nice lobster, hold up. Oh, he's already put it in the bin. We'll show you that one shortly. Research time. Female one oh two. Female one ten. So again, with all the research stuff, female one oh seven. It's important for us to do because it gives us an idea of what's up and coming in our areas. It's not mandatory. But it is important. You know, seeing all these females. Male 103. It's good. It's what we want. The smaller mesh, the green mesh on the pot. Female 95. The smaller mesh on the pot keeps these smaller lobsters. It's a good mail, hopefully. Finally, that'll be keeper mail one something. Size female is 105, but because they've got eggs, they're buried, we don't keep them. Female 83. It's a big female. Female 115. Female 80. 
Hey. That's it. So, yeah, I basically write this all down on, on the, this special paper, and uh, I send that off every time uh, at the end of every trip. So, oh, there's one more. He's, he's pulled one more. He's pulled a magic nugget lobster. It's female. But what size is it? Female 101. Done. So that was, how many is that? That's 22 lobsters in that pot. So, 22 total lobsters in the one pot. It's not too bad, but there was only two sized. But there was potential for five sized. So, yeah, that's our research. Yesterday we had five nice males out of it. There's one. Two. Three. Come on. One more. Four. That's right. Take four. Four is better than what we've been getting. We've been getting blank after blank after blank after blank. This pot had five in it again yesterday. What have we got? Oh, I might have two, maybe three. At this rate, we'll be we'll struggle to hit 50, which isn't really what we want. But uh, I don't really know what else we need to do. Let's have a look what he's got. So there might be a couple size ones. This one looks like it's got potential. Oh no, now he's taking the sharks out. Definitely looks less full. Alright, what have we got?
a sixer. That's six. Is he going to do it? Six. Six for us. Nice. If we can get fives and sixes just sporadically here and there, it makes a big difference. Very big difference. Some food? Food for bird? Food? He runs like you, Loggy. <laughs> Ross has actually done something good for once. Through the beetles. That's a nice bit. Keep him. Well, this one. Oh, I don't know. I'll put the measure on him. That's a good lob. That's two. Hey look, there's another one. That's three. Hey look, there's another one. That's four. That is the best part of the trip. That, we'll give the well done. Birds some more food just because. Do you want me to feed you by here? Yeah. The birds love you, mate. They love me. They love me. It's just not on land. Oh, no. Right. So that last pop that we got with the, was it nine? Nine is sort of like, that probably saved us really. That's 26 pots we've pulled and we needed a bin and a bit. A bin and a half is ideal, but a bin and a bit. And we've ended up with a bin and a bit. So, good stuff. that's good. good stuff. Now we're gonna stick them in the tank. Chuck them in the tank. Just chuck them in the tank. We're gonna toss them in the tank. Make sure Lockie's measuring's all right. And uh, My yeah, we'll see how many we got. My measuring's all left. Look at these nice lobos. Happy, happy, happies. Lobos making crunchy noises. Nice and crunchy lobos. Not really sure what, it, what are we doing? Alright. Get back, get back here. 
Where's can I have that other bin? Yeah. All right. The reason I put these in here is because they're all over one kilo and I want to put all over one kilo in the top. So that's 25 to the middle and now it's going to go the other way. Look at him, he's a nice beetle. Nice beetle boy. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. How do you feel about that, Logie? Not all. Yep, that's it. I don't believe you.
two full bins, which makes up for the lack of the half bin we had this morning. Uh, Lockie's just putting them down now out there. He's gonna give you the number shortly. Uh, we're, we're splitting them in the tank. We're basically, the tank's got three layers. And we're using the top layer for lobsters over one kilo. The middle layer is all reds, and then the very bottom layer is brindles. And that way it gives us, I can look at my numbers and be like, right, well, we've got 600 lobsters over one kilo, 400 lobsters that are about 850 gram average. And it just gives me a good idea of weight and if I need to, yeah, the market wants bigger lobsters. So anything sort of over a kilo. So if I can keep them separate, it just, it helps a lot more. Um, yeah, but that last half ended up being good. I'm happy with that. It's annoying we have to leave because of the weather, but there's, there's not a lot I can do. As soon as there's an opening in the weather, I'm, I'm gonna be pretty keen to come back this way and shoot up here again. Um, there's just nice lobsters, it's consistent. The numbers are staying the same. Yeah. 100 a day for 20 days is what we need, but I'll take 1,500 total instead of 2,000 if by the end of the 20 days. I'm just worried that going to the south coast, we're gonna end up catching shit all and it's gonna be like really bad. Anyway, not a lot we can uh, we can do about it all. Looks like there's a few, few good ones around the kilo mark. waves um, we're on anchor now we've shot the gear in from southwest cape along um, with another fella jack another young fella so we've just worked in between each other shot our way through he came down last night um, yeah we got dinner dinner's getting ready we've got the roast veggies about to go in the oven 
we're going to stick them in. We're going to have sausages, and I think I might just do some mashed potato or something as a side. Yeah, from basically now on, for the next three days, I think, we're not going to be day shooting. We're only going to be night shooting. So it just means we're going to have a lot of spare time, it's a lot of downtime. I don't like it. However, you don't really have a choice at this time of year. I think we were looking at six, seven meters potentially. I think with 40, 50 knots in the next day or two or tonight, or I can't remember what it was, but anyway, I think this time of year with where we are, I would be happy with a fishing pot. If we get 50 in the morning, I'd be happy. 100, I'd be ecstatic. But anyway, we'll see what we get. And if we see you later, we see you later. If we don't, we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy.